Fencing is a popular sport here at Wayne Hills. As winter approaches, the girls' fencing team gets ready to start up once again. The team had a great 2021 to 2022 season, and they are excited to make this year even better than the last. In simple terms, <laughs> if you can make it simple, fencing is, I guess, a combat sport. Um, it's kind of like sword fighting. A lot of people call it that in like when they're joking around, but it is. There's three different types of weapons. They all look like swords, and your goal is to like touch or stab right um, your opponent to score a point so it varies for each weapon but everyone has to wear like long socks that come up to below their knee they wear knickers which are pants that come to right below the knee they wear a jacket that is long sleeve and covers their neck everyone has to wear a mask and a glove on their dominant hand essentially you're covered from head to toe except for your non-dominant hand and then Certain weapons have lames, which I can explain to. So the rules vary um, for each weapon, but overall for fencing, the goal is to get five touches or points against your opponent first in a three minute bout. There's 27 bouts in a standard meet, and it's like the race to 14, because once a team reaches 14 wins or victories, um, they clinch the meet and they win it, no matter if they lose the next 13. Uh. The different blades are foil, saber, and epee. Um, every single blade size is different, so the weight of them is different. So epee is the he heaviest one, and then saber is the second heaviest one, and foil is the lightest one. Foil consists, every single weapon consists of technique, but foil has a lot of technique in it, while epee has a lot of patience, and saber has a lot of strength that goes into it. With every single weapon, there's like different right of ways and like, different priorities. With Epe, there aren't any priorities, but with Saber and Foil, it's like there's right away, there's priority, etc. The girls' fencing team already had tryouts for this season, and the new team was formed. They have recently begun with their practices and are starting with training. So I'm the primary judge because I'm the only coach of the program. We don't have any assistants. Um, if someone comes into the program having some fencing experience in a weapon they start working with that weapon right away and go with the returners on the team if it's someone brand new to the sport we set up a rotation where those new members of the team or people trying out will fence each weapon they learn the rules different parries different attack motions and um, those are the first two days and they cycle through everything and then the last three days of tryouts each day is dedicated to them fencing each other in that weapon. Last year we had oof, eight, nine, about 18 girls. This year we have 20, including my awesome manager, Maddie. I'm gonna shout her out. She's the best, can't live without her. Um, this year we have seven people who are returners from last year and 11 brand new people to the team. So we practice Monday through Friday from 2.45 to five o'clock in the commons. Um, because usually when we have tournaments, they fall on the weekend and they're like really long. <laughs> so first we do dynamic stretching. Then we go upstairs and we run two or three laps. And then we come down, we do footwork. And then we set up strip right away when we fence. The girls went to many meets last year and had a great time. Not only did they win some, but they also made tons of memories while there. So our home meets are always in the North Gym. You should come check one out. <laughs> and away meets, we do have a dual meet schedule. So some teams in our league include West Milford, Pompton Lakes, Wayne Valley, Ramapo, Indian Hills, uh, Passaic County Tech, Fairlawn. So fencing meets are a bit complicated at the start. First, we have to set up strips. So we have to get all the boys to help too. And we have to set up the strips. So one strip is here and then another strip is there for the boys. And basically, we fence A strip, B strip, C strip. So the A strip is starter number one. B strip is starter number two, and C strip is starter number three, and every single starter gets the fence. Um, so it's A strip versus A strip, B strip versus B strip, C strip versus C strip, and then it all mixes around. 11 and four, I double checked this for this. Um, that was our dual meet record. We were also Passaic County champions, and because we were undefeated in our league um, division, we were also the division champions last year. Okay, so um, there are a lot of f favorite memories that I have, but one of them is last year's first meet against Valley. We always have a first meet against Valley, I think, and um, it was really fun. We, I got to enjoy like the first meet feels, you know, and it was nice. Um, so last year, the Passaic County tournament got rescheduled because of a giant snowstorm. 
So it ended up being on my birthday um, and we won. So it was like a really extra special like moment just because, I mean, I don't know. Some people would like to do stuff on their birthday. I like to sleep in, I didn't get to, but it made it really worth it to be with a bunch of student athletes that I care for, appreciate, like admire all their hard work and dedication and to see that moment for them um, winning that when it was close the whole day and I had a, a group of seniors that have been with me since they were freshmen and you know had to go deal with all the changes to fencing because of the pandemic and the lockdowns and all the rules it was just a really really special moment for them and to witness how happy and excited they were made me really happy. The girls had a great season last year so now that the new season is underway, they're thinking about the future and what they hope to accomplish. Well, I would love to be county champions again and make it a back-to-back -back victory. Um, I would love to be conference champions again and make that a back-to-back. -back. Um, but at the end of the day, I want our athletes to grow and experience personal success in a sport that maybe they've been doing for a long time or something they're brand new for. We're really, I pride myself in helping create this environment for them where they feel like they have somewhere to belong and something they can be proud of and feel like a part of the Wayne Hills community. And as long as they're having fun and doing well, that's what I care about the most is that experience for them. Um, I personally hope to accomplish to fence a lot more than I did last year because I was a sub last year. I cannot predict. So the one thing about this sport is you never know what any school is going to, you know, come in with. And like I said, I have a lot of new girls on the team this year, but that doesn't mean that other schools don't have new girls. Sometimes we fence teams where they have kids whole nine, starting nine that have been fencing since they were 10 years old. Other schools, we have brand new fencers who are just, they're naturals. And although they're a first year fencer, they're very good. So it, the sport is very unpredictable. Some schools historically are very strong. In our league, we're one of the teams that are looked to to have a lot of experience um, and talent in fencing. Um, so even with our young, our young group, we could definitely do well again, um, but it can go any direction, hopefully in a good way. <laughs>